What's up guys, this is Cassius and today I'm going to teach you how to turn two pencils just like this into a marker effect. For today's lesson all you're going to need is pencils, paper and tape. Start by sharpening your pencils, get your paper, get your masking tape and tie your pencils together just like this. Just make sure the tips are nice and parallel and the tape is nice and tight. You're going to end up with something that looks just like this. First off, I like to mark my angle on the piece of paper like this so I can lock my wrist in the position for the rest of the sketch. Here I'm going to write the word hustler in one continuous motion and then join my points at the end of the sketch. Or if you're going to find it easier, join the points as you go and this will help make the overall sketch a lot less confusing. Now for a wider marker effect. You can see how this recreates a much wider nib, so the more pencils you add, the wider the nib. You can now see me joining the letter as I go, making it much easier to read. This clip is an example of me sketching one of my graffiti cutouts. I made this space up with a scrap bit of wood from the workshop, so I can use it for every custom cutout, making sure all my lines are the same width apart. The best thing about this method is you can erase parts you just don't like. With a marker, you can't do that. And that's how with this tip, I'm able to create my custom cutouts that look something like this. You can get yours in the description below by clicking the link to my website and ordering your very own custom graffiti cutout. Shameless plug over and back to the original sketch. You can see here I've drawn two very similar letter A's. First off, we're going to make letter A on the left look like a classic marker tip. You can do this by outlining it and filling it in quickly just as you would any other sketch. For the second A, we're going to make it look like a hollow tag. Start by erasing your pencil, but keeping a faint line visible to draw over. I'm going to add a classic drop shadow down and to the left, a staple here in the UK scene. And add a few bubbles and we're done. Back to the original Huster sketch. We're going to shade this in to show you how similar it looks to a classic marker tip. You can add 3D to this if you want, but I'm just going to add some drips, keeping this tutorial simple. So, there we have it guys, my first tutorial is over, we kept it short and sweet just as promised. Hope you guys picked up some knowledge from this. Like and subscribe for more videos from myself, Cassius, and there'll be more tips and tricks coming to your screen.